Let x and y be discrete random variables with joint probability function given below. Calculate the correlation coefficient between x and y. Okay, so we know that the correlation coefficient is covariance divided by uh, the product of the individual standard deviations. So we will need to calculate the variance of x, variance of y, and also the covariance x, y. And first of all, to get the variance of x and variance of y, we will need the e of x and e of x square, e of y, e of y square. And for that, we will need the marginal probability functions of x and y. So p, x, y, the joint probability function is this. So from here, we can see that x takes on the values 0 and 1. So when we write the marginal probability of x, we will uh, have only two values, x0 and x1. And for x0, we have 0.25 over here, and we have 0.125 over here. And therefore, uh, when we add these two, that gives us the probability of uh, x is equal to 0. So 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125, that's 0 0.375. And similarly, when x is equal to 1, we have 0.25 over here and we have 0.375 over here. So we add these two to get the probability of x being 1. So 0.375 plus 0.25 is 0.625. So this gives us the marginal probability of x. And similarly, for the y, and y is equal to 0, we see that we have 0.25 here and we have 0.25 here. So these two get added up to give us the probability of 0.5. And when y is equal to 1, we have 0.125 here and 0.375 here, corresponding to y equals 1. And we add these two to, give, to get 0.5. And now we can find E of X. That would be the summation of X times the marginal probability of X. And that's zero times 0.375 plus one times 0.625. And similarly, E of Y would be Y times FYY equals zero times point. Uh, 0 times 0 0.5 plus 1 times 0.5. So E of xy is a summation of xy against the joint probability function. And that take here we consider all pairs of values of x and y. So you could have 0, 0, and then that will be timed with p0, 0, which is 0 0.25, and then plus 1, 0 times 0 0.25, plus one plus zero zero times 0 0.125 plus one one times 0 0.375. And when we do all this, we get 0 0.375. And E of X squared would be the summation of X squared against FXX. So zero squared times 0 0.375 plus one squared times 0 0.625. And some same for E of Y squared, be summation of Y squared times FYY and zero square. Remember y was taking zero and one and the probability was 0.5 in each case for the fy. So zero square times 0.5 plus one square times 0.5. And now we have everything to get the variance of x. That's e of x square minus e of x whole square. So substituting the values, e of x square was 0.625. E of x was also 0.625, so 0.625 minus 0.625 squared gives us 0.234. Variance of y will be e of y squared minus e y whole square equals 0.5 minus 0.5 squared equals 0.25. And now covariance, that's e of x y minus e x e y. x y was 0.375 minus e x was 0.625 times e y was 0.5. So we get 0 0.0625. So now we have everything for the correlation formula. Covariance is 0 0.0625 divided by 
square root of the product of variances. So those were 0.234 and 0.25. This gives us 0.26. That was choice C.